this weekend, man, Leland, uh -huh. we just got slammed. I think yes. everyone has a small little lake in their yard right now. Yeah, especially yesterday, if you were in that band that was probably around 70 or 80 miles wide, you got to Clarksville or Cookville very little yesterday, right. but there were some parts in the metro area or within that band that had four to five inches of rain yesterday. And it just came down so hard and so fast. I mm -hmm. mean, flash flooding was a big problem. A uh, big problem out there. Mill Creek was out of its banks for quite a while yesterday. Today we get a chance to dry out and then here comes a rain chance for us tomorrow. Now I'm not going to rule out a stray shower in southern middle Tennessee today, but a lot of you will go through this Monday rain free. Here's a look at what is up for us as we begin this brand new day and a brand new week area fog out there, especially in those areas that picked up uh, some of that uh, copious amounts of rain yesterday. Mainly dry today. Stray shower not out of the question, but here question, but here comes a shower chance tomorrow, possibly a thunderstorm chance. Meanwhile, we'll keep an eye on Sally. Sally could become a hurricane later today before it makes landfall. The problem is for the folks down along the Gulf, this thing is going to be a slow mover, so something that may make landfall later today or tonight may not impact our weather until late in the week. And so slow moving tropical systems can dump a ton of rain. 72 for you out there as we go through the day. Uh, yesterday's high and low with all that rain and cloud cover. We, we only made it up to 76 in Nashville. Three inches, three and a quarter inches of rain in Nashville for the year. We are now running nearly 10 inches above the norm for 2020. Right now from Columbia, La Fog, you're away at the hour. It is 70 degrees. Radar from the power of five, nothing going on across the Mid-South for us this morning. But here's an update on Sally. So Sally right now has wind at 60 miles per hour. It is about 120 miles away from the mouth of the Mississippi River. Here is the projected path from the Hurricane Center. And you'll note there, see that little one? That means that it could become a Category 1 hurricane a little bit later today or overnight before making landfall there uh, near New Orleans and back along Louisiana and southern Mississippi. And then making that curve, it's a slow mover. So this path could mean an impact on our weather, especially the southern areas as we go late in the week. So for today, look for a high this afternoon to make it up to right around the 85 degree mark on our seven day forecast. 85 tomorrow and the Wednesday we're at 81. Here's a look at the remainder of that seven days. So Sally with an impact on us later into the week and then we'll get that out of here for the weekend right now. 80 Saturday, 80 on Sunday.